This is your suspension strap, row, and external rotation. So toes up, legs stiff, belly and glutes are really, really tight. We are segmenting the two movements. So think of it as a row and then an external rotation. It is not one smooth movement. When you get better at it, it'll get smoother. But first, let's really think about pulling those elbows back, then rotating at the elbow to keep that arm bent at 90 degrees on both sides. So you're gonna really feel that elbow needing to stay in place. Again, make sure your body's in a stiff position so that you feel like you're trusting the straps to stay tight with a trust fall. So I always say trust fall with the straps. Now you're gonna notice I'm pointing to my left wrist with this arrow you're about to see on the screen. Check out my left wrist. It's a little cocked back compared to my right wrist. My right wrist is firm and neutral. My left wrist is cocked back because my left shoulder is a little weaker in the external rotation. So try to keep your wrists at a neutral and strong position as if you were punching a punching bag. You can start to speed these up as you get better if you just wanna get up there quickly and then focus on the slower eccentric portion, but I would advise you really segmenting these in your mind as a row, pause, then externally rotate so you can control the movement and feel the muscles work. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this TRX demonstration. If you are an athlete that is specifically someone that competes needing their shoulder, throwing, serving, whatever it is, or if you are someone just with more need to strengthen your shoulders, if it's in rehab or just want to get stronger shoulders all around, check out these recommended videos with the crossover symmetry bands. I'm sure you'll like them. Don't forget to comment what else you wanna see and subscribe to the channel to keep this stuff coming your way.